Okay. Now let us see some more problems for conversion into equivalent fractions. This is the second set and this is a case where we deal with division method. Okay. So let's say you are given a particular fraction wherein let's say 27 by 54 or maybe 54 is a bit too simple let me take 63 okay and you are told to write down the equivalent fraction write equivalent fraction of 27 by 63 which has 3 as numerator okay and 21 as denominator so you are given two problems two set of problems wherein you are told that you have a fraction 27 by 63 okay you have to find out an equivalent fraction okay and in this fraction in the first case the numerator is 3 right we don't know the denominator here in the second case the denominator is 21 we don't know the numerator here right again what we saw in the previous problem was that when you multiplied the numerator of a given fraction you got something equally right in this case the new fraction that has to come in is less than the given fraction and when you have to do that basically what do you do you do a division there are two operations division and multiplication right when you divide a number by a particular number what you get is obviously less and when you multiply you get it more so whenever you have such kind of problems in terms of fraction what you need to know is what is it the change which happens vis-a-vis -vis the given fraction in the new fraction if it is reducing then what I need to do is I need to divide this number by a particular number now the rules of equivalent fraction is that if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by same number let me just write it down if you divide both numerator and denominator by same number result remains unchanged okay so in this case what we try to see is that what is the number by which 27 is divided to get 3 right so if you divide 27 by 3 what do you get you get 9 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9 Hence, in other words, if you divide 27 by 9, you will get 3. So you divide the bigger number by the smaller number. So you get 9 here. So you can write 27 as 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. So if you are dividing 27 by 9, you also need to divide 63 by 9. And if you do that, what do you get? You get 7 over here. Right? So basically to get an equivalent fraction with a given numerator when the numerator is reducing it means that this number is divided by a particular number you first find out what is the number which is to be used to divide this number then divide the denominator also by the same number. Right? Similarly in the second example also if you see from 63 the number is reducing to 21. The reduction happens only when there is a division of a given number by some other number. To find out what is the number by which 63 has been divided to give 21, we divide 63 
by 21 and we find out that 21 into 3 gives us 63. Hence, we understand that 63 has been actually divided by 3 to get 21. Now, if these two are equal in fraction, then we need to divide the numerator also by the same number, okay, which is 3. And when we do that, we get 9 over here. Right? So this is the equivalent fraction of 27 by 63 where the denominator is 21.